Hi, this is uh, Rich from Raw Micro, uh, doing a quick introduction to the uh, the Chipino module, and, as well as uh, flow code. And uh, you'll also get to see the Picket 2 in action. You probably probably have seen that before, but uh, we're going to show that as well. So, uh, first of all, to uh, get you going, uh, you see I've got flow code already open. We're going to create a new flow code flow chart. And we're going to select, because the Chipino comes on board with... Uh, pick 16F886. So we select that here. A new project is created. And what we're going to do is first we're going to, oops, we're going to edit the uh, project options. And you'll see that comes up as an 886, which is good. This needs to be at 16 megahertz because the uh, Chipino has a 16 megahertz oscillator on board. We want to take advantage of that. And we're going to come over on this side to configure the chip. And don't worry about this. This always comes up wrong. Uh, but we are going to switch this to crystal. We're going to switch to the expert config screen. We're going to change our oscillator to HS, which is, uh, like I said, because we've got a 16 megahertz crystal. And we're going to turn our watchdog timer off. Okay, master clear is good. The Chipino has an external master clear. We're not going to use it, but keep that set to external. Uh, what else do we need to do? Let's turn out, turn off the brownout uh, detect. We're not going to need that for this. And this is important here. Turn off the low voltage programming option. Uh, it won't work if you don't turn that off. So make sure you do that. And click OK. And what we're going to do, uh, we're going to program our PIC 16F886 on board the Chipino. And we're going to just do something simple. We're going to turn off an LED and on an LED in, in sequence. And so we don't have to do any wiring. What we're going to do is uh, we're going to use, if you take a look at the, uh, the camera view, we're going to take a, we're going to use this shield, um, which uh, works with, not only does it work with Arduino, but it works with the Chipino. You see the Chipino can use any of the Arduino shields, which is a pretty cool feature of it. So uh, if you haven't noticed, it has the exact same footprint of, a, of an Arduino, this, uh, this Chipino. So anyway, I'm going to pop this on real quick here. Okay, and I happen to know that the LEDs that are on the um, on this shield are RB2, 3, 4, and 5. So with that in mind, let's uh, let's begin. Let's uh, let's pull. Let's get an LED here. Uh, we won't need that in our code. Let's delete that. That stuff comes with. A, I happen to have a full version. It's not the demo version of flow code, and always brings that stuff up. So we want to delete that. Let's connect our single LED to, see by default it comes on port A. I'm going to move that to port B. We're going to move it over to the second LED, RB2. Or excuse me, it's the first LED on RB2. So we're done with that. And so we're going to come over here to our macro. We're going to want to turn on the LED and we're going to want to turn it off. And we're going to need some kind of delay in between those. So we drag in a delay. A delay. Now you can see that the one millisecond, that's, that's pretty quick. So let, let's change that to seconds. You can see how easy it is to do this kind of stuff in flow code just by, by clicking. And over here we're going to see LED0 will show up. That's what this is right here. If it's in your panel, it'll show up here in this component. So we click it and we turn it on. And when we come down here, we'll select that component and we'll turn it off. Now because I don't have any kind of loop set up here, it's just going to run through the program once and it'll end from beginning to end. Let's run the simulator and see if uh, we're close. Okay, turns on, turns off, and the simulation is complete. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put that in a loop, and that's typically what you do with an embedded project anyway. Um, you want your code to, to run from beginning to end and just start over again. So let's drag a loop in. That's, it's pretty easy to do here in flow code. I'm going to drop it right there. And then I'm going to drag these different things whoops, into our loop. So you can see we essentially have the, the same thing we had before, except now when it 
ends into this, it jumps into this while loop, it's going to come down here. It's going to just keep going forever and ever until power is removed or we hit a, do a, an external reset through the master clear. So let's check our simulation. Off, on, off. All right, good deal. So our simulation's working. Let's, uh, let's get this working on the uh, Chipino. So I have, uh, like I, I may have mentioned in the beginning, I, I have a Picket 2 programmer. And that's one of the cool things about the, the, the Chipino. I can use a Picket 2, I can use a Picket 3, I can use a Real Ice, I could use an ICD programmer. Um, you can use one of the many different clones that are out there uh, to, to, to program your, your, your pick on board the Chipino. So here we go. We're going to compile to, we don't want to compile to so C, we want to compile to chip. And i got to save it once before I do that. Let's do that. We're going to call this uh, LED. I already have a file like that. I named that. That's okay. So this screen will come up and it'll start compiling. And when it's done, it uses a command line interface to pull up the Picket 2 programmer and start running it to the chip. And now you can see that it's running in hardware. My shield is uh, now blinking the LED on RB2 in one second intervals. So that's pretty darn cool. And you know what the, um, one of the great things about using a Chipino for these kind of projects, or any kind of project uh, that's pick based is I can use my Chipino and various shields for development work and I can take the 886 that's programmed off of this thing and I can go build it into its own circuit. All right. Well, I hope um, you got a quick overview here of flow code, a little bit on the Chipino. Uh, once again, this is Rich from Raw Micro, and uh, have a good day.